The sale of the UK gold reserves was a policy pursued by the HM Treasury over the period between 1999 and 2002, when gold prices were at their lowest in 20 years following an extended bear market. The period itself has been dubbed by some commentators as Brown's Bottom. The period takes its name from Gordon Brown, the then UK Chancellor of the Exchequer, who later became the Prime Minister who decided to sell approximately half of all of the UK's gold reserves in a series of auctions. At the time, the UK's gold reserves were worth around about £6.5 accounting for half of the UK's £13 foreign currency net reserves. It is estimated that the decision cost British taxpayers £7 billion. Gold prices remained relatively low until 2001 when the price began constantly rising in a protracted bull market. By 2020, the price of gold has reached 1700 and the loss of the UK taxpayer was estimated at more than £15 billion, as euros bought with the proceeds had also risen in value.